Just gonna walk down in here. See if I can fish through this just for a little bit. It looks kind of murky. I don't know, guys. Eventually, I'm headed to this pirate ship that's way on the other side of this bridge on the west bank of this uh, Lions Bridge here. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can maybe get on a trap. Ooh, there's, there's a boil right there. Let's see what we can do. White paddle tail, there we go. I'm gonna do, this is the last one. Might as well use it, right? Very last one, maybe it's good luck. I'll tie a loop knot. There we go, I like loop knots anyway, so it's a win. Boom. I don't even have any tag end. Look at that. Just didn't even have to cut a tag end. Check that out. That was pure luck. Oh, there we go, fish on. Fish on, we got one. Oh, get out of the rocks. Get out of the rocks. Oh, get out of the rocks. Oh, he got me in the rocks. Straight down the... It's straight down, it's straight down. Oh, we're in something. It's a trout too. There we go. Yeah, he's got me. He's got me caught. It's got me caught on some branch down there. Oh, dang it. I got a trout and he's right there. Oh, he got off. <laughs> you saw him get caught up on that branch. Dang, all right, there's trout in here. I don't know if that's a caught fish. Guys, leave a comment below. Is that a caught fish? <laughs> Did I just catch a trout or no? No. Dang, I got all the way up to the leader. All right, they're out, they're out here. Man, it's stick down there, stop me from catching it. That loop knot held up too. I like this little corner spot here. It's kind of cool, we got one trout, but uh, I'm gonna go try to get on this pirate ship down here. Talk to some, uh, some people who know some stuff about it. Go see if we can learn some things, you know what I mean? It only comes in town every once in a while. Uh, she's a now. She's called a now. So she's smaller than the galleon. She's uh, uh, 90 feet long. She was built in 2017, launched in 2018 in a place called Huelva in Spain. And uh, she's been twice now to the United States. Uh, her sister, the El Galleon, uh, she went to China. So um, she's much bigger. She would be a delivery ship. This is an exploratory ship. And this is, represents Magellan 1519 to 1522. The Now Trinidad uh, came from Huelva in Spain. She's done a North American trip. She's on her way back now. She'll probably go down south for a little while, more than likely Puerto Rico for Christmas, and then she'll go back to Spain. She's equipped inside with everything that Magellan would have on his voyage. Remember, he was out for two years and three months trying to find the Spice Islands, which he did. And he, when he was going down the Cape, uh, he actually found a strait that made it a lot shorter. It's now called a Magellan Strait. It took him 64 days to get through there. Uh, he did arrive back. Four ships left. One ship actually arrived back in Sevilla. And uh, Magellan wasn't on board. He was killed in the Philippines, oh. at, uh, an island there. But his first mate got the ship back full of spices. And then they made the replica. Are we allowed to go on it? Yes, of course. We can go on it? Oh, we can go on it. Hey guys, we're gonna go on this ship. I'm excited, this is cool. Hi, we got some beads. Uh, we have beads for the for the kids I gotta take, for the lady. Take my shirt off? What do we no, 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 it's not NOLA. We're not in no, no Island. <laughs> 
You I'm got a, some lucky I can be beans. a lady today. Lucky I'm a lady. Beans. Thank you. Let's go up on this shit. Watch your step here. Grab the ropes. Come on up. I got some I got some beads going on here. There we go. It's for the ladies, but I guess I'll be a lady today. <laughs> I don't have my books. No, no mutinies allowed. He said no mutinies, okay. Okay. Oh. Welcome aboard. All right. Okay. I do have to have tickets. Yeah. What do you What do you got to say for us? Is this the uh, the booty? That's for. That's the booty. That's to help them keep the float. That's to help them keep. Okay. So when you come on, make sure you put a tip in. Please. <laughs> so, yeah. Not for us now. We're. Ready. All right. Here, we'll throw throw a tip in there. This is a capstan. Oh, capstan? This, yes, this would bring up the ropes or the anchor. Actually, there's two anchors, one each side. The anchors weigh about 5,000 pounds. That's the poop deck up there. We go up there to... What's it called? Poop. Poop. P-O-O-P. Poop. Poop. Poop deck. Poop deck. I guess that's where you... No. no, that's not where you. Okay, that's, that's not where you do. Okay. And we have we have four cannons on board. Four cannons. Four cannons on this ship. Uh -huh. Not because uh, we were attacking other people. It's to stop people that would attack us. Oh, like defense. Yeah, Correct. just just for defense mechanisms. We've got. This, this is going on my YouTube channel for fishing. Sandman. Yeah, I'm, I'm St. Augustine Sandman. So I got is that what your YouTube channel is? Yes. It's St. Augustine Sandman Fishing. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Paulina. Hi, Paulina. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, you're the you're the big boss. You're the head honcho. Kind of. Not not really. <laughs> yeah. But, no, I'm not the captain. No. But if you need anything, yeah, you can contact me. Oh, okay, cool. Are you taping me right now? Yes, you are. Yes, okay. you're you're live. You're live. <laughs> I, but I got some beads. I know. You, you want some do. beads? I got some beads. Over oh, here. you already got some beads. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Paulina. Thank you so much for Is coming. Is there anything you want to tell the people? Thousands of people? He is the man to talk to you. Okay. Well, he's talking to me. Is there anything you want to tell him about uh, how Just to get on this on boat? Board. Just come on board and visit us. It's a very nice museum we have here. How long are you going to be here? We're going to be here until the end of April. And the museum is open from 10 to 7 every day. So come on board. Ten you can to get seven. Ten to seven, and you can buy your tickets over here or online. Thank you, Paulina. Thank you. Thank you for coming. All right. Let's keep going. Let's take a little look. This is the main mast. It stands about a hundred feet tall. Um, this is a hundred feet. Hundred feet tall. Hundred feet tall. <laughs> I've been to the crow's nest once. Crow's nest. Right way up there. Uh, Hope you're not getting vertigo. The rat lines. These are called rat lines at the side here. The ones that run up. The side you climb up those. You call them rat lines? Is rat that because when yeah. the boat's sinking, the rats hope oh, we use the thing? <laughs> uh, these we got about three miles of rope. We actually use these. We brought down the main mast to come through the bridge of lions because it won't go through oh. sideways. Miles of rope? Yeah, three miles of rope. Wow, that's a lot of rope. Yes, it is. These are some of the crudiments that you would see in that period of time. And tell me again, what year is this we're taking? 1519 to 1521. 1519 to 1521. 20. See that there, the stick that's going up there, that's the rudder. That controls the rudder. So as you move the thing up there, there's a, an ankle, like a knuckle down here. It's almost like a joystick in, in modern days. And that moves that rudder back left and right, port and starboard. None of this technology we have today. This is your depth finder. Yeah, it's your depth finder. There you go. There you go. Ocean depth measured in the olden days. A rope and a bell weight. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 93 feet long is a good, good one to get. The home port is Huelva. In, the home port is Huelva in Andalusia, Spain. She was launched in 2018. Let's say she represents the period from 1519 to 1521. Here's one of the four cannons. One of the cannons. One of the four cannons. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Well, hey, they brought you some some lunch. No, that's, is that's, your, is that your lunch? Our, that's all our supplies. Yeah, that's all our supplies. <laughs> oh my gosh, I found Waldo. Yeah, yeah, there he is. If you're looking for Waldo, we found him on this ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is awesome, Carl. Thank you. You see, we've lowered this mast to get her through the bridge. You know, that's uh, why it's on its side. Normally, it would be through 80 degrees or 90 degrees. 
this is how we control the rudder we pull left or push right for port and starboard port and starboard that's how we do it and that goes down to that knuckle joint you saw, saw downstairs and then that goes to the tiller out to the rudder and that's how we get there remember they didn't come on as voluntary crew <laughs> they normally were drinking in a bar and they found them and put them on a ship to come here nobody wanted to travel three months on a ship to an unknown place so <laughs> slave labor they, mm, pretty well pretty well wow so this is tough when you're actually in port steering the ship because you can't really see over the front so usually the bosun will be up there on the next next level up and he will tell us which way we to go that's where we plot our course you can see the maps and the, the timer the timer's not a clock it's a sand uh, do you still use this today or are we using uh no, digital use, today <laughs> we have to use modern navigation we have, modern navigation we have a couple of laptops on board <laughs> <laughs> this is where the captain's quarters are you can come around here and see there's the bed for the captain and some of the stuff that they have for navigating i actually slept in there when i came down from fronandina but this is good this is called the whip staff and people will ask why aren't there wheels on ships like a ship where wheels didn't come out till about 1820 1830 this is 1519 300 years before that so you had to have a way of navigating the ship and this is the way they did it so. but only ever you see the pirate movies they always have the, yeah they didn't exist they didn't exist the movies we make it up because that's what people expect well, people believe whatever you tell them i guess having fun on board yeah glad to hear it as you can see from here, you've got a pretty good idea of where the ship is going. So, oh the yeah, would the boatswain, the first mate, would be uh, on here, uh, telling the whoever was controlling the ship how to make the turns. You know, to get down the channels or whatever. Yeah. Turn to port. Port, starboard. Turn to starboard. Yeah. yeah. Point. The vantage point up here is so much better than you can't see anything when you're you can't when, no, you're, when down you're down there. there. You no. can't see anything. No. Oh, yeah, we, all right, we got one more thing to show you. All right. How are you supposed to do it? Okay. Okay. But if I first could. The first one is that uh, you won't smash your face. And the second one is you tend to have more back here in the padding than you do at the front. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you might be carrying a sword. That's right. You might be carrying all kinds of stuff. Try to go down backwards holding this gear. Let's see if we can go down back. Here we go. We did it. All right, success. Although the content would be good if I did fall down. There's Mike. What do you need? Mike, we have some beads. Huh? We have beads for the children and the ladies. Well, two of you would be a <laughs> I ended up with oh, some. Oh, you got beads too. <laughs> I feel pretty ladylike today. All right, we're going down. Going down backwards. Mike, you should be playing some music. No, I'm head. off today. Watch your head. Oh, yeah, watch my head. Okay. This is the bodega. He came down here with 54 people on his ship and he had four ships. He came from Sevilla and he went down the coast of South America, the Cape Horn, and he went all the way down here. And you imagine every time he comes to an, an inlet, he doesn't know whether it's the end of South America or what. So they had to test every single time to see if there was fresh water. If fresh water came up, they knew they were in the river. So, and they also knew from whales. Whales, I didn't know that. Whales only swim in seawater. So, you know, you could tell where you were from that. And then he went down here and he eventually found this breaking through there. As one ship actually turned back on this way down. So they had three ships then. He found this strait, which we now know as the Strait of Magellan. And he took that as kind of a shortcut, if you will. And he came back over here onto the Mariana uh, Islands. He came down here and across the top of Australia and here he's coming into the Philippines and this is where he was actually killed. They oh. shot him in the eye on the, an island uh, called Sido. And by that time one of, the sh one of the ships had already gone down and another one caught fire so they only had one ship left. He had 17 sailors that came back with him out of 54 that left so they, they um, loaded up with spices from here and then they went back across the, bo the bottom of the, um, South, America, South Africa and then went back to Sevilla 
and that journey was two years and three months. That's a lot of knowledge. <laughs> He's got a lot of knowledge. <laughs> so, they live on this ship. I mean, you, you've seen this ship. This is not a, like a giant hotel, man. This no, is, uh, no, no. they, they might've gotten into uh, arguments with each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ever being a, in a long car ride with each other. <laughs> this is a long ride. Okay, the three the three different models yeah. of this ship? Correct. Okay, so the, this, this size, this size, and this size. Yeah, the Galleon was like a tractor trailer. It brought over supplies to the new world. Um, this is 175 feet long. So she's a much bigger ship and she was really meant to carry cargo. This is meant to go up small tributaries and that kind of thing to the find their way now. up to it. And now, and it's now, it's called a Ning, now singular. And it was built in the 16th century, the original ones. This particular one is built of a wood called Iroko. And uh, it's very good because it resists salt and corrosion and that kind of stuff. The original ones would have had teak and deck wood. We can't get teak anymore, not in the kind of sizes they want here. So this took her into Lake Erie and the Great Lakes. And I was on this particular trip. What do you like most about this ship? The, I, I love the history of it. I truly love the history. Imagining yourself being on a ship like this for two years and three months. As you say, it can't have been a particularly good place to be. And when you came, if you look later on with uh, Menendez de Aviles in 1565, and you're leaving Spain, and you're going to this unknown country that's going to take you 60 to 90 days to get across, and you don't know what's there. Chances are you will never come back. Never come back. They chose the people by their skills. So each skill, they had like barrel makers, they had uh, people that repaired horseshoes, you know, furriers, and those kind of things. They chose them exactly what, what they wanted. They had bakers. Um, because they're setting up a new colony <clears throat> that we now know the United States. At the time it was Florida, so. Maybe that's, that's where the last names came from, all the ship travel. You're the baker, you're the cook, you're the... Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right, that's exactly <laughs> where they came from. I guess I was a cook in my... <laughs> a ship like this would have, in the day, would have at least 50 people on board, 50 mariners on board. And nowadays we get by with about 14, 15 to get across the Atlantic. Everything was measured in feet, but a foot isn't 12 inches. It's how big your foot is. So we didn't know how big a Spanish people's feet were in the 1500s. So this is a guesstimate as to how big the vessel was. We got two or three things that give us the idea that we're about right. Pirate header. I got some beef. Where's your beef? You want some beef? <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank okay. Carl for taking me on this um, this now the now Trinidad expedition. this expedition. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming on this adventure with us, guys. Um, make sure you subscribe and uh, get down here because they're not going to be here. Uh, get it while you can get it. Come on this ship, um, have some lunch downtown, and just climb aboard the uh, the now Trinidad. I now know that this is the the middle size boat. Correct. This is so the galleon's the bigger one, and then uh, caravel is small, one. and the caravel's the smaller <laughs> one. And uh, Carl's a book of knowledge, Professor Carl. <laughs> come down and see us, guys. See you, man. Have a good one. All right, good one, guys. That was so cool. That was so freaking cool. Man, I love living in this city. There's things you get to do, you just it's, it's really cool. All right, Dennis. Hey, Michael. This You're is, gonna sing a song? Yeah, I'm come gonna, on. Yeah. For you that don't know, Michael is a musician extraordinaire, and his favorite song is Yellow. <laughs> ah, yellow, I think it's is yellow. Is that because I'm a yellow belly? Yeah, I think it's yellow. <laughs> Thanks for letting us come aboard. Hey, come back again. We will. I'll see you in town somewhere. Yep, see you, buddy. Come back. We will. That's so cool. And they also have a gift shop. Buy your tickets here. And you can buy some rope. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is cool. Let me sail, sail away.